What you are looking at is either one of the greatest talents to ever enter the Premier League, or just an overhyped talent who turns into another flop. So the question now becomes, how good can he be? He became exactly the player I expected he will be. He's, he's 18 years old and the moves he makes, the, he's, he's always looking for space. So he looks very good to me, especially at that age. Brazil, July 2019. Gabriel Martinelli had struggled to reach his potential for an extended period. For several years, Martinelli was in and out of trials at Manchester United. He himself had the impression that the day he turned 18, he'd play for Manchester United. But when the time came, Manchester United had doubts about his qualities and did not know if he could make it in the Premier League, so they didn't offer him a deal. Just a few months later, Barcelona offered him a trial period of 15 days. He did his very best, but even they ended up rejecting him due to doubts about his attitude. This made Gabriel Martinelli find himself without a professional contract, and the boy's dream was in ruins. But then, out of the blue, a phone call came from London, England and Arsenal FC. Edu Gaspar, the sporting director of Arsenal, had seen him play for years and kept his interest a secret, and he had zero doubts. Over the phone, Edu and Arsenal offered him to come to London and sign a five-year deal. And just like that, the boy exploded. He did it all. Score, assist, a relentless effort. And when he wasn't playing, he was showing the boss how much he wanted it. When he wasn't playing, he was all the time in my office and every time showing me on the pitch how wrong I was. His skills were so impressive that there were comparisons with Ronaldo. The original Ronaldo. But that's a very bold comparison. As a 19-year-old, Ronaldo scored an insane 47 goals and 12 assists in one season for Barcelona, while Martinelli at the same age only played 23 games due to injury half the season, scoring only two goals and one assist. Yeah. And the following year, Ronaldo scored 34 goals and 4 assists in 47 games, and Martinelli scored 6 goals and 7 assists in 36 games. Now, these statistics leave no room for the comparisons between the two. And if we look at their international debut, it's the same difference. Because Ronaldo is the youngest ever to be called up to the Brazilian squad, the youngest ever to win the FIFA World Cup. He also won the Ballon d'Or in 1998, aged just 21. Gabriel Martinelli first made his debut at the age of 21 and played only 93 minutes in total throughout the tournament. So, does this mean that he's a bust? Not according to these guys. The way he's helping the team is phenomenal, so it's just a joy to watch. Uh, the young Brazilian should, I think everybody should remember that name because an outstanding player. The freedom and the personality that uh, he plays with. So what are these guys seeing that the stats just don't show? Well, he probably passed the almighty eye test. Hold on, what's an eye test? In football, when you look at a player you haven't seen much of and the stats aren't there to tell you anything, you can do the eye test. What does the player's style look like? Is he involved? Does he score? Assist? How often is he subbed off, subbed in? His attitude, technical skills, leadership, handling losses, handling wins. The eye test is literally all you can see while he plays. And if the player immediately looks damn good, he probably is? Now every Arsenal fan probably remembers Yaya Sonogo. So, for the eye test to work, we need to see more games, maybe seasons. But Martinelli passed this with total conviction. Now, to answer the question, how good can Gabriel Martinelli be? There's no doubt that Martinelli has the potential to become one of the Premier League's best players. And to be honest, I think he will. But there's something that excites me even more than just Martinelli's talent. You see, Martinelli is not the only Brazilian wonder boy. Do you remember Endrick? And can you imagine Martinelli, Endrick and Ronaldinho's son playing together? Well, they're about to. For Brazil, take a look.